Hello YouTube. Today I'm smoking Wall Street blend in my Peterson silver banded shape 338 pipe. This pipe, I'm 99% sure I never smoked on YouTube. I've had it a good while. Ah, less than 10 years, but uh, long enough there. It's a smallish bet, as you can tell. It has the maker's mark and so forth, so it's pure uh, sterling. Very good draw. You'll notice I haven't smoked a bent in a while. Oh, it's good for a medium length smoke. The bowl is uh, not tiny, but uh, adequate for a moderate smoke. And this was another blend gifted to me by Kevin Green. Uh, you can see some of the writing there. It's rather light, but it is a terrific blend that I love. It's dark Cavendish with just a hint. Well, I don't know. I maybe a hint of Latakia, but not really noticeable that much. Let's go with just a hint of that, and maybe Perique, but it's not in English. And it's, of course, from M.A.'s Pipe Shop down there in good old Louisiana. Shrevesport, to be exact. I hope your week's off to a good start, being a Monday. Thanks to my new subscribers.
just a super yummy tasting tobacco blend. Hope you all had a great weekend. Yo. <laughs> It's a great little pipe. I guess you'd call it medium small. Fits nice between the fingers. And I consider it fairly attractive. Bought it new from my local pipe shop. This is before I was heavily into eBay. So I know it's at least 10 years old. I slipped an assignment into you a day or two ago, and that was to check out a video of a show called I've Got a Secret. And the man on there was very interesting. I think the show uh, was from around 56, 1956. And he, as a child, he was five years old, actually was there in the theater the night that Lincoln got shot. And... He remember what he, what he remembers, believe it or not. Uh, it said at the time he didn't know the gravity of the situation. He saw this poor man, in his uh, words, fall down, and of course, uh, uh, you some some of you probably know he broke the uh, Wilkes Booth uh, broke his leg. John Wilkes Booth broke his leg after he leaped after shooting Lincoln. But the kid just noticed he, he actually didn't know what had happened and just witnessed the man leaping. But the interesting part, well that was the that was very interesting. But another side uh, light but if you quote unquote won the program and nobody guesses what you did uh, uh, you won $80 and a carton of Winston's that's how old this show was uh, Winston's cigarettes but in this case he didn't smoke cigarettes so they awarded him a full can of Prince Albert tobacco, which I thought was a great uh, pipe story for everyone. And uh, so that's why I kind of wanted you to watch the whole thing through and to kind of search around for the video. Um, but... Uh, I thought that was great. So uh, he's a pipe smoker. 
and they gave him a large can of Prince Albert tobacco. I try to be kind and not, you know, call anybody stupid or, you know, dim-witted. But there's this woman on a show that I like, and uh, I believe it was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, hosted by Cedric the Entertainer. He's on today. And there uh, was four choices, and it, uh, the, the question started out, well, there's a man uh, that died uh, just recently, and he's 112 years old, and he was the last survivor, known survivor so far. Uh, then the choices were the Civil War, the Revolutionary War, World War One, and World War Two. And she said, oh, I, I have no idea. Of course it's World War One, because there's still World War Two vets out there. And I, I just... It's a pet peeve of mine. I say, how, you know, how stupid can you be, lady? So I, I don't think she's very confident, so she only walked away with $4,000. She had gotten some of them right, of course, and uh, she stopped at $4,000. Uh, but uh, that's... I remember a few years back, not that terribly long ago, uh, was a a case. Uh, I worked through the VA, like I told you. There's a case uh, that a woman was still receiving benefits from her spouse. He must have been considerably older. Uh, that had passed away, of course, uh, of uh, uh, benefits of $25 a month from the Spanish-American War, believe it or not. Well, time flies when you're having fun. I'm having fun sharing a pipe full. And I'm going to sign off. So, happy Monday. And, of course, happy smoking. <laughs>